You're watching the Intel Network and Edge V Summit series with our focus today on the network at the edge. The Federated Telco Edge Cloud is a telco-led initiative to support shared service offerings. Network operators are seeing real value by interoperating their edge platforms and delivering a rich set of experiences to customers. Well, joining me now to explain why this is important is Juan Carlos Garcia Lopez, Senior Vice President Technology and Ecosystem at Telefonica. Juan Carlos, very nice to meet you. Thanks for joining us on the program. How are you doing, Guy? Very nice to be here with you. Excellent. Um, can you tell me more about this concept of the Federated Telco Edge and what is unique about it? Well, um, by the end of 2018, um, the operators at the GSMA uh, realized that uh, our digital transformation was evolving our networks towards uh, software platforms and thus enabling us to open up our networks via APIs and make them programmable. Okay? This at least uh, an opportunity for third parties to develop uh, services and solutions on top of the telco infrastructure in a structured and controlled and, and safe way. With this objective in mind, uh, the operator platform group was created and the intention uh, create a global platform that could allow telcos to expose and monetize their network capabilities. One of them being, uh, of course, edge, edge computing. As part of this network, we have elaborated already a set of requirements and identifying gaps and improvements in the corresponding standards. Uh, a relevant one is the federation mechanism that allows uh, multiple edge computing platforms to interconnect to each other providing access to a global edge footprint from a single interface. This mechanism is in parallel developed in the multi-operator Mech Experience project that Telefonica is running together with the Korea Telecom, China Unicom, Telstra uh, and Altran, and defined also in parallel in standard bodies like Etsy Mech, no? that uh, some months ago launched a new work item on intermech uh, system communication. Telefonica is also actively leading uh, another initiative at the GSMA, the Telco Edge Cloud Task Force, that aims at applying these architectural principles to launch a global edge computing service based on telco infrastructure. The uniqueness of uh, this platform comes from certain uh, characteristics. So first, it's built on cloud and telco standards. It is open, portable, and interoperable. It is inclusive and multi-cloud. Safe and resilient, as most of the uh, products that telcos uh, deliver. It is coupled smartly and efficiently with the network and thus bringing uh, the best uh, performance uh, to the, its uh, applications. It is also providing uh, privacy and security mechanisms that are uh, inherent to um, the telco networks and uh, well proven in, in, the, in the telco services. And finally, it brings uh, service to users in mobility and uh, users roaming in other networks that are also uh, characteristics uh, from the uh, mobile uh, network services. How many network providers are involved in the initiative and how is Telefonica taking the lead? Well, um, we have two initiatives uh, at the GSMA. The operator platform group that is defining the reference architecture is participated by 30 operators and 12 technology partners. The Telco Edge Cloud Task Force that aims at launching a global edge computing service based on telco infrastructure gathers 22 operators, including the most relevant ones in Europe, Middle East, Asia Pacific and the Americas. Telefonica concretely is chairing the Telco Edge Cloud Task Force and is having an active participation in the operator platform group with a significant amount of contributions. It is also working in the engagement of operator platform with other bodies like the 5G Automotive Association or the Open Edge Computing Initiative and is presenting uh, proposals together with the other partners um, uh, to standardization bodies like the uh, HCMEC or 3GPP. One of our principles is openness and collaboration. And following these principles, we are getting in contact with many players in this edge computing landscape. What are some of the key benefits of this shared service approach and how are network providers 
able to keep their total cost of ownership low and achieve scale? Well, uh, the end user uh, will be able to enjoy new smarter services, no? less reliant on, on device hardware. So this is an important characteristic. A new generation of smart services, both lighter and more powerful, because they will be using a huge amount of pro processing capacity made available at the networks, will be made possible. Also applications served from the network uh, and avoiding the internet and offering greater security and, and privacy through uh, the trusted operator mechanisms, no? like the SIM, the devices, the network, or the user data. The cloud, uh, the edge cloud, is also um, a special one. No? It follows the end user as it moves, ensuring a, a uniform service experience anywhere. Also, the Telco Edge Cloud user can enjoy the edge services over a huge footprint that replicates today's global uh, mobile networks. And this is also extremely relevant. Um, and providers uh, of this Telco Edge Cloud uh, will keep their TCO at competitive level by building on top of the existing assets and capabilities uh, that are basically a distributed real estate with a carrier grade maintenance service. Uh, as a main uh, main competitive uh, asset. Uh, in addition to this, a major tenant for the edge will be the own network, okay? And this opens the path to make external world, workloads uh, at the edge also possible. Uh, and uh, finally, uh, we have as operators uh, an ability, uh, skills, to build progressively a highly distributed processing infrastructure. The network, in fact, is such a thing uh, from the beginning of our history, and we are used to that. When combining these skills of uh, deploying and maintaining a distributed infrastructure with new cloud techniques, with automation and constant learning through artificial intelligence, machine learning uh, technologies, that will make our solution uh, both solid and efficient. So how close are we to making this a reality? And how is Telefonica working with Intel and its partners to move things forward? Well, um, we started the project at the GSMA in the first quarter of 2020. Uh, and we are evolving uh, in this project in, in a confinement situation. So this is the first week in Spain that we have uh, gained uh, total mobility again. No? But uh, we have been basically uh, working offline um, and uh, nevertheless, after more than 10, uh, ten weeks uh, working on the project, we are progressing pretty, uh, pretty well in all fronts. So we have completed the requirements of our reference architecture. We have in place the first two trials. We have defined the value proposition and the nature of the product. Uh, we have progressed also on our internal organization, uh, defining the principles, requirements and options for for this uh, organization. So everything is taking us to have the architecture, the commercial model and the organization ready by the end of this year so that we may be able to, to launch a global edge computing service at some point in time in the first half of 2021. This is uh, our target. This is a challenging one and we are uh, pushing to get there. Intel is providing uh, a great help no, in the definition of the architecture and the coordination with the standard uh, definition bodies and open source communities. It is also contributing with experience and code uh, to different edge communities and technology partners that for sure will be a very valuable seat for growing the global edge computing network. Intel has also a strong uh, experience in open source uh, communities and other standard system fora uh, and communities and associations. We have worked together in different telco related initiatives in the past, no? uh, starting from SCNFB back in 2012 uh, to more recent ones like uh, Open Run, uh, uh, TIP, uh, uh, Open Source Mano in Etsy. So Intel has uh, worked with us uh, and, and the communities in different areas, no? from contributing code like FlexRun to definition of APIs in Oran, Etsy Mac or uh, to ecosystem development. So we are at this moment uh, currently focused on how to create the community to support our industry goals. No? 
and then uh, their Intel expertise in this area will be extremely valuable. Intel is uh, also participating in, in different standardization bodies, no? uh, and that provides a wide view of the different uh, alternatives succeeding uh, at this moment uh, worldwide. Um, for this project, this is important no? to guarantee uh, a complete uh, standardization of our federated edge uh, proposition. Intel is currently uh, vice chair of HCMEC ISG, an active member at the GSMA Operator Platform Group, is a board member in, in TIP, and also participates in several uh, edge uh, focus groups. So all in all, um, Intel is helping us and supporting us in our targets for this uh, edge, uh, global edge computing service. So how critical do you believe that open systems and standards are for such collaborative industry initiatives? And what are some of the key Intel technologies and platforms that support this multi-vendor approach? Well, open systems and standards are fundamental no? to, to, to grow these platforms and to make uh, the, the, the network grow. Uh, in fact, it will allow on one side to have uh, several uh, supply alternatives to support the, the platform uh, and also will attract a wider um, community of, uh, of developers and customers no? and, and partners. Uh, standards and open systems will be, will be essential. No? Uh, in this sense, uh, Intel is contributing uh, a number of, of products that are um, um, supporting uh, this cloud and edge use cases. Uh, an example is the Xeon Excalable and Movidius, for instance. Uh, we have also uh, platforms like OpenVINO uh, that is widely used in the developer community for visual analytics. Um, Intel has also developed uh, uh, in, in the OpenNest framework, microservices that expose platform application awareness, data plane, acceleration, telemetry, um, that uh, might be um, easily integrated into uh, the reference platform we are defining, no? and also in other commercial uh, edge computing solutions. Uh, Intel also has uh, several technologies and platforms that we believe will be uh, very helpful for the project. No? On one side, Intel is expert in technologies um, and products that support the cloud and, and the edge, like the Intel Xeon Scalable Processor, uh, accelerators for visual analytic, uh, analytics uh, use cases, like Movidius or security solutions you know, uh, built in in the, in the edge processors. So all this is uh, supporting uh, the project uh, significantly. Also, Telefonica is committed to Open RAN, no? uh, where Intel is uh, one of the our key partners. No? So the extension of their technologies to the edge cloud is, is a very natural one. Okay. Uh, we expect Intel to contribute actively in the APIs that uh, connect the uh, MEC platforms to the infrastructure. That is what we call in operator platform the southbound interfaces to make them open and standard. Okay. This is the target. So Intel has also developed microservices as part of their openness platform that can be potentially integrated and, and will expose hardware capabilities to developers, so enriching the, the, the platforms. No? Um, and those features um, include uh, things like a platform, application awareness, security, lifecycle management, data plane, and acceleration. So all in all, uh, features that uh, will facilitate uh, our customers and uh, application developers in general, the use of, of the platform uh, and the development of their solutions on top of it. Another key topic we believe, we believe Intel will contribute uh, to is um, um, in, in our view is the, uh, the open APIs. No? Intel is actively um, working with platforms like OpenVINO that will enable multi-vendor, multi-platform for uh, visual analytic uh, developers. Uh, we expect OpenVINO also to be a key ingredient for the community and the commercial MEC solutions. So this is also an, an opportunity for, uh, for, for Intel no, to help enriching this uh, kind of environments. How is Intel helping with solutions for the multi-operator MEC experience? Okay, well, um, 
as an example, um, Telefonica is uh, working at the multi-operator make experience um, together with um, Altran as a partner. No? We are developing on top of the uh, Altran's SCONS uh, platform um, some basic functionality um, uh, to support uh, edge applications, no? like um, uh, interconnection mechanisms or support of uh, uh, edge applications for users in mobility or roaming beyond uh, their home networks. No? All this is uh, developed together with Altran with intention to um, open source uh, open source it when it when it is completed you no know, unproven so intel is helping us on working together with altran to combine the best of um, of the code of both companies to uh, to deliver a consistent um, um, multi access uh, edge computing uh, solution okay uh, again uh, will be a solution that has uh, all the features that we are uh, developing with Altran, um, all the Altran uh, orchestration uh, capabilities, and uh, all this functionality that Intel is um, um, making available no, to the community that uh, we, we mentioned before, OpenVINO, uh, OpenNest, uh, and other uh, features that we are enriching uh, pretty much the the application development environments for um, each applications uh, and that will uh, consolidate uh, basically a, a, a very solid uh, edge computing solution uh, when combined well juan carlos thank you very much indeed for joining us today and telling us a lot more about the federated telco edge and don't forget, you can watch more interviews and discussions on Edge Networking right here as part of the Intel Network and Edge V Summit series. But for now, thank you for watching and goodbye.